Okay, so before we really dive in today, um, I was curious, how about you? When you're jotting down notes, say during a meeting or just making a to-do list, what's your, you know, your thing? Are you a bullet point person? Maybe a mind map enthusiast? Mm -hmm. Whatever your style, I think you might be surprised to learn there's a whole field out there, a profession really, built around structured writing. And no, mm. we're not talking about novelists or journalists. We're talking about nurses. That's fascinating. Yeah, you heard right. In today's deep dive, we're exploring the world of nursing documentation. And honestly, it's way more interesting than it might seem at first. Get ready to uncover some, well, uncanny similarities between how nurses keep track of patient care and that good old structured writing process. You know, the one we all learned back in school, even if it's been a while. And what's really interesting here is that it's not even just about the structure itself. You see these parallels in so many other places, too. Think about, like architects and how they use blueprints or even a chef right mm -hmm. carefully following a recipe right it's yeah. all about taking complex information and making it clear standardized it's like a universal language of organization yeah and nurses are fluent you know how a good essay it kind of draws you in strong opening yeah sets the scene absolutely and nurses they do the same thing when they first assess a patient that initial assessment it's like the intro to an essay it creates the baseline for everything that comes after Okay, yeah, that's a really cool way to look at it. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. In an essay, you've got those supporting paragraphs, each one making a specific point. Nurses, they have what's called the SOAP format. Think of it as a system, right, for organizing a patient's story. Exactly, and it's a brilliant system. SOAP, Subjective Objective Assessment and Plan. It's all about taking that patient info and breaking it down into manageable, clear pieces. So walk us through it. What goes into each of those sections? Sure. So let's start with subjective. That's all about the patient's experience, mm. but in their own words, right? What are they feeling? How are they, you know, experiencing their symptoms? Imagine a patient saying something like, my head feels like it's going to explode. That right there, that's subjective info. Makes sense. So capturing those direct quotes and feelings. Precisely. Then you've got objective which is all that hard data, the measurable stuff, vital signs, test results, you name it. It's about painting that clear, unbiased picture of what's going on. Ah, so it's like the factual evidence which might support what they're saying or maybe even contradict it. That's really interesting. Okay, then what's assessment? That's where the nurse, they put on their detective hat. They're taking that subjective experience, combining it with the objective data, and then bam, forming a conclusion. It's where their expertise really shines. So connecting the dots, right? They're looking for patterns, potential causes, and then figuring out the best way to move forward. Exactly. And speaking of moving forward, that takes us to plan. This section outlines those next steps. Medications, therapies, more tests, you know, the whole nine yards. It's like a roadmap for the entire medical team. And just like with an essay, you need a solid conclusion, a way to wrap it all up. Absolutely. And that's where the discharge report comes in provides a concise overview of the treatment, the patient's progress, any next steps after they leave the hospital. All about making sure that care is continuous. You know, it's pretty amazing how much thought, how much actual structure goes into something that honestly most people probably never even think about. It's true. And those parallels to the writing process, they don't stop there. Oh, really? Tell me more. Well, think about it. Writing isn't just about you know, putting pen to paper, is it? There's brainstorming, there's drafting, revising, the whole thing. It's a journey. You're right. You don't just sit down and crank out a perfect essay on the first try. There are stages to it. And nursing documentation, same deal. Each step in that writing process, it's got a parallel in how nurses document their care. Wait, so are we saying that nurses, they essentially go through that entire writing process every time they interact with a patient? In many ways, yeah. And just like a writer needs to gather their thoughts and ideas before they start writing. Nurses gather patient data. Exactly. It's like the pre-writing phase, right? They're collecting vitals, medical history, current symptoms, all of it, laying the groundwork before even thinking about a single note. Precisely. Building that foundation of understanding. This is blowing my mind. I never would have guessed something as, I don't know, seemingly ordinary as nursing documentation would have this much in common with, like, the whole writing process. It's true. And just like when a writer carefully crafts their draft, nurses meticulously document the care they're providing. Mm -hmm. It's all about accuracy, precision. Which makes perfect sense when you think about it. This is people's health, right? Everything needs to be crystal clear for the entire medical team. Absolutely. Every single treatment, every observation, medication, all of it, it's recorded using this clear, precise language that, you know, 
it can't be misinterpreted. So in a way, they're like medical scribes, but with way higher stakes. That's a great way to put it. They're documenting this critical info that, you know, it directly impacts patient care. Okay, so we talked about how nurses gather their info, how they meticulously document it. What about revising and editing? Does that come up here too? It does. It does. Remember how we were talking about the importance of accuracy and nursing documentation? Well, that's where that whole revising and editing process comes in. Oh, like that saying, measure twice, cut once. But I guess in this case, it's more like write once, check twice, maybe three times. Exactly. Nurses are constantly reviewing and updating those patient records, making sure everything is accurate and reflects the latest information. Think about it. Just like a writer wants to make sure their facts are straight, their message is clear, right? Right. Nurses need to make sure those records are accurate and truly reflect the latest patient status. Because if a treatment changes or there are new symptoms, the records need to be updated right away. Precisely. There's just no room for error when it comes to patient care. And this whole idea of revising and refining our work, it's something we could all probably benefit from, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. How often do we, like, fire off an email or even submit a report without taking that extra second to just review, revise? It's such a small step, but it makes a huge difference. It really can. Clarity is key in any form of communication. You know, whether you're writing an essay or documenting patient info, it matters. It really does. You know, what's really striking me is this comparison, it highlights the importance of process. Whether you're trying to write a compelling essay or you're documenting life-saving care, that structure, the attention to detail, that willingness to go back and revise and refine, that's what sets apart good communication from truly great communication. I couldn't agree more. And it's a good reminder for us, even in our own lives, whether we're writing a grocery list, a business proposal, whatever it is, that same dedication to clarity, accuracy, and being organized can make a world of difference. So next time you're facing a mountain of info, right, it could be for work, school, even just your own to-do list, mm. channel your inner nurse. Exactly. Ask yourself, what are the key details here? How can I structure this to make it clear, concise, easy to understand? Right. Because who knows, you, you might just find that those same principles can help you write your way to a more organized and effective life. Now, wouldn't that be something? To take a page right out of the nurse's handbook and apply it to our everyday life. I'm here for it. It's like we're uncovering these hidden gems of wisdom and in the most unexpected places. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of it all, isn't it? Mm. There's always something new to learn, another way to look at things. Even something as, I don't know, seemingly mundane as nursing documentation. It can spark these really fascinating insights. You know, I have a feeling we're just scratching the surface here. There's so much more to explore when it comes to the world of nursing and the incredible work they do. Oh, absolutely. And who knows, maybe our next deep dive will take us even further. I can't wait. Yeah. But for now, let's take a moment to appreciate all those amazing nurses here out there using their skills to make a real difference in the world. Here, here. They're true heroes, every single one. You know, it's funny. We usually think about structured writing for like, I don't know, academic papers or those super technical manuals, you know? Right. But we never really think about it in healthcare. It's true. But when you stop and think about it, Nurses are dealing with, well, life or death situations every day. Their ability to communicate clearly, effectively, and it can literally make the difference. That's a really powerful way to put it. Like, the stakes are just so much higher in their world, which makes their commitment to that structured writing even more impressive. Absolutely. It speaks to their dedication, their attention to detail, and just their focus on the patient. Makes you wonder, what can we, even in our own lives, learn from nurses about how to approach information, even if it's not, you know, a life or death situation. That's the question, isn't it? I think it boils down to recognizing that clarity and organization, it's not just about making things look nice. It's about respecting yeah. the information uh -huh. and the people who are receiving that information. And that's something we could probably all use a bit more of in our lives, whether we're sending an email, putting together a presentation, or even just, I don't know, trying to organize our own thoughts. I agree. It's about recognizing the power of structure, mm -hmm. not just in our writing, but even in our thinking. So next time you're feeling overwhelmed with information or you just can't seem to wrangle your thoughts, mm -hmm. remember those nurses. Channel that inner SOP format. Ask yourself, what's the subjective experience here? What are the objective facts? How do I assess this? What's the plan? It's like having a framework, a way to kind of cut through all that noise and get to what matters. Exactly. And who knows? You might just find this whole deep dive approach 
can really help in your own life too. It's like we've uncovered this hidden superpower and it was right there the whole time. The power of structured writing. Who knew? Well, that about wraps up today's deep dive. A huge thank you to you for joining me as we explored the world of nursing documentation. It's amazing what we can all learn from it, really. It really is. The pleasure was all mine. Mm. Till next time.